Good morning, everyone. My name is Courtney, and I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay, and I'm here today to take you along with my normal every day. So this video is actually only being done because a company that I'm super excited about reached out to me called Home Chef, and uh, they're basically helping me do this video by sponsoring it and uh, I thought it was kind of a perfect partnership because one of the elements I love about reselling is that I get to cook all my meals from home and uh, that's really important because I don't really live near anything in fact this is actually where I live um, which is I'm just on my deck right now but um, they uh, I've never tried the service. They sent me, I just got food last night, and they sent me some food that I get to try out, and I'm going to insert that in throughout the video, along with sharing um, just normal everyday stuff, showing you a little bit about where I store things, and yeah, so down below there will be a link uh, for Home Chef, if you'd like to try out the service, I believe the link is $30 off your first order. And uh, so yeah, so if you haven't tried it out and uh, you like this video and you're excited about maybe trying a new service, definitely feel free to hit that link below. And let's go make some coffee because I am still waking up. probably the spot that everyone sees me at the most which is sitting at my dining room table I have my coffee which I am super excited about because that's definitely helping me this morning um, I do have the smoothie that I just made I actually make a lot of smoothies and so um, the good thing about this is that I've just used I always make the same smoothie so it's just nice dumping everything oh that's really good it actually really tastes like Jamba Juice That might wake me up more than the coffee. Anyways, so at the beginning part of my day, I usually sit here, enjoy my coffee, enjoy my breakfast, which is usually oatmeal, but today is the smoothie, which is exciting. I sit here and I respond to YouTube comments, um, share closet, uh, share other people's, follow people. I do a lot of the computer stuff in the morning. I also already have all of my stuff. Um, packaged up so after I get done with the computer enjoying my coffee and my breakfast I am going to jump right into packaging stuff up getting it ready to get shipped out I usually don't go to the post office until later but I just like to get this out of the way so so I just finished up uh, just working on some computer stuff and so I thought I'd show you my house a little bit about where I store things where I work all of that fun stuff so with that um, I primarily do a lot of work in my dining room and if you are ever wondering what I'm looking at when I'm doing videos this is the this is from my dining room what I actually have to look at but um, I have a pile of receipts here that I need to input into a spreadsheet this is actually the stuff that I need to ship out today I've got some bags I have my Dymo printer and some thank you stickers over here. I have um, this stuff needs to be packaged up. That Those two boxes have um, already been packaged up. They just need inventory numbers. I have some shipping supplies over there. And this is my dining room. So over here you've got my, I don't know what you call this room, but that's my front door. This is my dog, Luna. She loves sitting in any little patch of sun. And so with that, from the front door, I live in a pretty small house. It's about 1,300 square feet. Um, this is kind of my 
main living room, living area, and my kitchen, and my loft. And one of the things that was really important for me um, to do this video was to kind of be honest and show you how it really is. So I didn't really do, you know, hide stuff. Um, for example, all of this stuff over here is for a video that I need to film today. It's a haul video. So I have everything in order of my spreadsheet, which I can show you. Um, so it's all in order so that when I get get ready to do the video, um, it's, it's all organized. So with that, we'll just go up to the loft and see how that is. I don't normally hold a camera while climbing up here, but so I, um, dining room and then my loft is kind of the other area that I work in the most. So this is actually my photo area, photo wall. This was actually just painted recently. Um, I did have some paper, like wallpaper type stuff that I used and that was temporary. Um, this is a rack that I use. I love this rack because it has this shelf on the bottom and the top. And yeah, so I did just get a mannequin. And the nice thing about this up here is that I can easily move stuff. So if I have friends over, I could kind of not hide. I, I mean, I'm definitely not trying to hide my reselling business, but I can um, kind of maneuver. This is really hard to do, holding the camera. <laughs> but I can kind of move the rack. And so it's a little bit more over there. I have storage, all these bins. So everything is... Um, has letters all over it this area so the steamer can easily pop over in this little corner and um, those are just some shoes I've got some more shoes this is stuff that I think they already have inventory numbers but I just need to put them away in the bins this stuff is stuff that I need to photograph same as those shoes and I think these are some hard goods that were in a recent haul video that also need to be photographed. I use this to write my measurements and I use these to put in shoes when I need to take photos of shoes. So yeah, that's my loft. And this is what I see down below. Not sure where the dog is, but that's, uh, yeah, that's kind of my workspace. And Okay, just got my shipping done, and now I need to actually film a YouTube video, the haul stuff that I showed earlier. So I'm going to film that. Everything is right here in all of these little bins, and it's all organized uh, just to show you my spreadsheet, if you're curious. So when I, um, I know that there are some people, uh, a lot of people don't provide comps in their hauls because to be honest, it's it's um, it's risky to put it on a video. Uh, for me, I actually look up comps um, and add it to my spreadsheet. So just to turn you around, so here's uh, one of my spreadsheets. And when I get home, I actually I'm not sure if it's easy to see, but I actually add everything. I'll put the size. Those are all hard goods, but um, I'll put the size. I'll put uh, the price, so that's the breakdown of how much total divided by how many items, and then I'll put the purchase price. I put the listing price, so uh, when I say comps and videos, I typically am not saying the listing price, I list higher. Um, so, and then I have an acceptable price and a get rid of price. Get rid of price is just kind of the lowest that I would want to take. And so when I say comps in my videos, I'm usually giving the range of the get rid of price and acceptable price. Um, again, I do list higher, but that's just kind of how I keep things organized. And for me, it's helpful just to get home from a haul, wash everything, get everything organized, get everything organized on the spreadsheet, and then be able to share on the video 
um, that, that information, but it's definitely not for everyone. And I, I get why a lot of people don't do it because, um, it's, it, you know, comps are, are so hit or miss. And, and I actually have set a comp or a range in videos and then changed it after doing more research. So, uh, but it just kind of works for me. And so I'm going to get through this stuff right here so that I can get it put away later today and, um, basically taken upstairs so that I can, uh, get, get these things photographed in the next couple days. And yeah, so time for a YouTube video. All right guys, so I, I just filmed two videos. One was short, it was just the what sold, five surprising sales. And then one was this haul, so I could get this stuff up to the loft and, loft and start taking photos. But my camera shut off randomly in the middle of it. So anyways, I just wanna show you what it looks like when it's post haul video, because it's usually a hot mess. So that is, a hot mess. I'm not sure what's picking up, but I have stuff organized usually down here and then I end up throwing that way. And so now I need to, I usually put the tripod on this and I think I had some stuff in there. So prop my computer up, my little notes. Um, but yeah, it's usually pretty, I, I'm usually pretty excited to get a video done. Also, I do pack on a little bit more makeup because it just doesn't show much in the videos. And that's, yeah, so anyways, I now, my stomach's growling. I'm super excited for my home chef meal. Um, I can't remember what it's for lunch, but it's a five minute meal. It's a no cooking required, I think. So I'll show you um, the, a little bit of a clip of that. And I already have my stuff packaged up for the post office. My dog is just laying by the front door. She likes to keep, she likes the door open when it's nice weather outside because she can hear the birds flying and all that stuff. So anyways, I already have my shipping all ready to go by the front door and I'm going to go eat, take that, go on a hike and come back and start working in the loft. So stay tuned for more. So I'm starving, but I thought I'd show you. Um, I got a, for lunch, I picked the chicken mole. It was a like five minute lunch option. And usually during the day I'm just busy and I just wanna eat. So this is a chicken mole. It's rice, chicken, I've already kind of mixed everything up. There was some guacamole. All of these are two servings. So my smoothie, I have half of it saved in the fridge. I have half of this stuff that I'm going to save for tomorrow for lunch. So, you know, I do have friends over occasionally and I could share meals, but um, the fact that this is just microwavable, um, dinner is gonna be, I think, about 30 minutes, um, and I'm super excited for dinner. But anyways, hmm, there's fried onions. This is really good. I just squeezed some lime. That's the other nice thing. I have my little fruit stand right here. But because I did the smoothie option and that was cheaper for the breakfast thing, um, they had a really nice thing where you could get a fruit basket. It was basically some, it was just all of this fruit. So there were a couple pears, a couple apples, this orange. And so for the week, I've got six meals and then some fruit. And um, that's just nice. I think the nicest thing about this is I don't have to think about what I'm gonna make. I make a lot of the same stuff always, and so it's just nice to do something different. Like, I honestly don't know if I would ever know how to make mole. I'm really enjoying this. And again, it's uh, just trying new things and the convenience of having, like when you have to buy guacamole, you never get them in these little packs, or at least I don't. And when you're mostly cooking for one person, or two people for a lot of people, like my parents. Um, it's just nice that everything's pre-portioned out, that you don't waste too much food. So anyways. So I'm headed to the post office right now. I have to drive uh, to the post office every day. It's about 26 minutes each way. And uh, 
I am trying to find a solution that will allow me to not have to drive, but the problem is, is I can't do package pickup because I live two miles from my mailbox and the county contractors that do the mail delivery in the like rural parts, uh, their contract says they don't have to go more than a half mile from mailboxes to a house. So, um, you know, the perks or the downsides of being in a really remote area, I, I you know, I have to, if I run out of stuff like tape or something, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm having to drive quite a bit just to kind of get to just stores and a store and I have food, you know, if I run out of something or I need something for a meal, that's actually why this little meal delivery thing is so convenient, but I have to drive. So, you know, I, hopefully I can figure out a package solution that will allow me to not ha to have options, to have something that's closer to me where I don't have to go into, into this, to town each day. Because it, it takes quite a bit of time. The good thing is, is that I do not take many breaks during my day. And so the drive to town, to the post office, is a bit of a break. I can listen to music or podcasts. Uh, but I also, it, it gets me out in the middle of the day when it's sunny. I usually go for a hike in the middle of the day, which I love because it's sunny. <laughs> At least when it's not winter. And uh, I just feel really lucky to live here. So... to my house and um, yeah I will see you on the trail So I just edited a video and um, <laughs> I don't know how people do this stuff all the time. It's uh, so just to show you, I don't know if it's showing up, but I, I use iMovie. I have an older uh, MacBook Pro and I, it, it's just been, <laughs> it's been interesting to learn how to do this stuff. But if you don't edit a video, you could just upload it and that takes time on YouTube. But when you edit, you have to put the video in the editing software and then do your edits and then you have to export the project which is another so it's importing exporting importing to youtube anyways so i am glad this is a qu quick uh what's old video and it does require a little editing um so i think now that i have that done i still have some sunlight i typically don't do the loft stuff until the night time because it gets really dark in my house and I don't know. That's just kind of my routine, but I do have a uh, dinner and I'm thinking about starting it now. And I just thought I'd show you, I have dishes in my sink that I still need to do. So I got this binder from home chef and it's actually pretty cool. So this is obviously the first time I've ever gotten this book. So it's got some information and then it has the recipe cards. So I did the smoothie this morning um, this is actually a Korean pork noodle bowl, which I'm going to do tomorrow or in a couple days after I eat leftovers. Uh, really excited about this because I love Asian food. I just, I'm very, I don't make it all that often. So, I mean, that looks delicious. But this is what I'm making tonight. And uh, chicken adobo flautas. And, I mean, <laughs> that just looks so good. They had, so you can see right here, it says staff pick. And so that was a good... And then this one, this Korean pork noodle bowl was a customer favorite. So anyways, I'm probably going to start cooking this now. And um, I think it takes about 30 minutes. Yeah, 30 to 40 minutes. Cook within five days. 
So the nice thing about Home Chef is, you know, you don't have to cook it all, obviously, in the first day. I'm just doing it for this video purpose, but um, they have a difficulty level, they have spice levels, um, they just have easy pictures, which is really nice. I don't, I'm not afraid to cook. I've cooked most of my food as an adult and I'm pretty comfortable in the kitchen, but not having to think about stuff and try new recipes. And then I could also tr use these recipe cards again and since I've already made it, I could you know try and buy the ingredients again. So anyways, I'm really excited about dinner. I don't know how much of the work tonight I'm going to show you up in the loft just because it's, it gets just really dark in here. And the only, yeah, I, I just, there's, there's no lights outside. I have very dull lighting in inside. And so, yeah, we will see what I, what I'm able to do. I also don't want this video to be 12 hours long. So anyways, I'm going to start cooking and I might throw a pop in a little bit of the cooking element, or I might just show you the final result. And, uh, yeah, again, super excited, thankful for Home Chef being able to do this. I was able to take more time off of reselling this week to do this video and to figure out how to vlog, which I've never done. And it's all just very new for me. So anyways, I hope uh, dinner is good and I'm going to show you what I made. All right, guys, I can't wait any longer to eat this because it smells so good, but I just wanted to show you dinner and show you the comparison. So again, I had the chicken adobo flautas. And if you see right here, I'm not sure how the lighting is going. That's my version. And then that's the version that was in the picture. So um, it's really hard not to eat this right at this exact moment. But um, I'm going to eat dinner. I'm going to do a little bit of work on my spreadsheet, updating some sales numbers. And uh, yeah. All right, guys, so I just had dinner. Uh, Home Chef knocked it out of the park, in my opinion. I'm someone that likes to cook, and I'm pretty experimental with food, and this just required very little effort. Even the dinner, which was supposed to be, you know, 30 minutes. Um, just super easy instructions. Yeah, um, just made my day very easy, but I'm also full and happy and had really good food today, better than most of the restaurant food around here. So like I said, there's a link down below, uh, $30 off your first box or, or, or meal purchase. And uh, I, I definitely, yeah, I would do this again in a heartbeat. So I just am wrapping up here and I'm gonna go upstairs in a little bit and try and get a little bit done, hoping to actually maybe only work for a couple more hours today. Um, because I do need to spend some time editing some videos and I'm actually publishing right now that I just got done editing. And uh, so I wanna get some photos taken, some steaming done. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get to packaging. That's my least favorite thing. So anyways, stay tuned for kind of that last part uh, just to kind of show you a little bit about how I do that kind of work. And yeah, thanks Home Chef. All right, guys, so I just got my box. This is actually the day before I'm going to do my day in the life. So this is from Home Shop. I just picked it up at my P.O. box and just thought that this might be a good insert to show you how it comes because I don't know what to expect. I've never tried this service and I'm obviously gonna put everything in the fridge until I can start cooking everything tomorrow. 
but I have some recipe cards. It looks like I've got a little binder, which is nice. I'm assuming to keep the recipe cards. And then there's this kind of, I think this is all recyclable is what I read. So recycle plastic liner. Um, so there's this cold pack, it's still frozen in the middle. There is some cardboard. So here is a little, I'm assuming this is an entire meal. I know what I picked, I picked my meals, so. This is the, looks like my seasonal fruit basket that I chose, which is just an add-on. This is another meal. And it's very clearly marked on here, everything's recyclable, which is great. This is another meal, looks like everything's in there. So it's gonna make it super easy to just pop this all in the fridge. This is another one. And at the bottom, there's another ice pack, which I actually might just throw those in the fridge just to reuse. That would probably be the easiest thing. And then there's some meat at the very bottom that was under some cardboard, so kind of away from everything else. And that is it. That's what came in my box.